Okay guys, catapults. We've started the catapults. Um, there are two catapults on the Arizona. The one we are working on in this video is the catapult that sits on the third turret, no, turret number three. Um, trumpeter kit in the instructions um, refers to it as catapult two, but we're going to refer to it as the catapult on, tr on the turret three. Um, we're about halfway through with this video here. I believe we're about halfway. We're going to pick it back up in a second video just to kind of save time. This video here is probably going to be around 20 minutes, half hour. I haven't put it together yet, so I don't know the exact time. But I don't want to make it an over an hour video, so we're going to split it up into two. So this video here, we start the catapult and make some really good progress. Um... 95% of this catapult is photo etch. I thought there was some kit provided and there's two little pieces and I get into that in the video. Actually, I won't even get into that because I cover that all in the video and I don't want to repeat myself. So yeah, and um, we're going to make the second video hopefully here in the day or two and we'll get that up and that should complete this catapult. We're going to make a second video for the second catapult. So... There we have it guys, um, let's go ahead and get right on into it and welcome to Models and Beer. Okay, so yeah, like I said, um, these catapults have a whole lot more to them than I originally thought. I had looked at, briefly at these kit provided instructions, and we are be working on catapult two. That's the one that sits on top of turret three. Um, and this looks like a couple parts. We got you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, and um, you know a piece of kit provided PE for here and so that's why I said in the last video I don't think it's going to be any big deal I just figured we're going to use these parts run some railings that is not the case at all um, Edwards I guess said you know what that trumpeter catapult is junk we are going to build our own so here is the um, Edwards instructions and Everything under this orange line is what's going to be involved in this catapult. And you can see here we got a lot of work to do. So, um, starting off with Photo Etch Piece 21, um, we got to get that bent. And we have some, looks like some railing going on top of that. We got some more railing here. Yeah, so we'll start off. Let's just take it a piece at a time here. So let me go ahead and get um, part 21 cut out of the photo etch sprue. And let's get our bender together. And I will be right back. All right, guys. Got um, piece 21 removed out of the photo etch sprue. I got all the burrs removed from where it was attached. And I think we're ready to start our first few bends here. And this piece here doesn't seem to have a whole lot of bends. It seems to be pretty simple. So we shouldn't have a whole lot of problems with this. I'm looking over these instructions for the catapult. Um, the oops, the um, photo etch instructions. We should have some really nice detail on this when, when we're completed. So this should be a worth all the hassle that this seems like it's going to be. I'm doing this just a little at a time. I'm trying to bend it evenly. Because with photo etch, you really only got one shot. You can only bend it once, maybe twice if you're lucky. After that, it breaks in half. So I try to make sure that I get it right the first time. So there we go. That's our first bend. And it's a significant bend. Okay. 
I know my hand's in the way, but I'll show you what we're done here when I get out of the way. All right, let's see what happens now. And there we have it. Our first bend. And I'd say that's... Looks about right. It's nice and square. So now let's get over here. And hang on a second. I need to check something here. Okay. We're going to repeat that for this second side here. Try to be as exact as I can, only because a lot of these folds are going to have to come together at some point, and I don't want any gaps, so I want to make sure I'm bedding, bending dead on where I need to be. That looks pretty close. All right, <clears throat> we've done this once, so we should be warmed up enough where we should not have any issues. Again, just a little at a time, making sure I get all the way underneath this. Like I said, we only got one or if we're lucky twice that we can bend before it just says, you know what, you screwed up and it breaks. So. Okay, let's see what we have now. Okay, that looks nice. Everything seems nice and square. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So now, let me go back to our PE instructions because this whole entire catapult, other than two parts, are only two parts are kit provided. And that is, let me show you real quick. The only two pieces we're going to be using is F37. And even then, I believe we're taking these pulleys off and replacing those with photo etch. And we are also using F36. The rest of the entire build is all in photo etch. So. Okay, so we got... 21 is bent so let's go let's see 74 let's go ahead and get 74 out of the sprue and I will be right back okay guys last minute change in plans I was gonna go ahead and install P74 and then 73, which goes onto the top of this catapult. However, after reviewing this, this piece here, number one, needs to go to the underside. I figured that's going to be easier done by this being upside down, where I could just lay that piece onto there and not um, sacrifice crushing these pieces here that go onto the top. So let's go ahead and install piece number one. On the underside and then we can go back to 74 and 73 so I got piece number one cut out and ready to go let's get our pieces out here and I did give piece number one a slight curve simply because it's got to go on to this edge here which is curved I think this will make it just a little bit easier to 
get in here. So let's get some CA on this piece here. That just kind of sets right on top from what I can tell. There we go. Now let's see if we can successfully get this piece into its home. Just gonna hold this here a few minutes till this glue catches. I know you're not seeing much guys but just trying to get this CA to catch and then we can show you what we got here then once we got this piece done here it seems as though everything else might be on top so we're safe working from the other side from this point on I'm glad I caught that otherwise this piece would have been a bear to get on without crushing 74 and 73 which sits on top all right there we go guys let me go ahead and get these next pieces cut out we'll give this a second to to cure and we'll be right back Oh, one more thing I forgot. We have two bends that we still have to do on this catapult. Um, didn't realize it until I just got to looking. We got this piece here, which I got halfway bent over already. I figured I'd better show this, so I stopped ahead of time. Um, that just gets bent down into here, and it's going to attach to this back side. I don't know how much you can see. Let's see if we can get in here. Yeah, that's going to attach down to here. I'm going to have to bend that a little bit better. But that goes is going to go like that. And then this back little piece right here, let me get it in here, has to flip up. And that will complete that little box there. So, let's see if we can do this on camera. There we go. Didn't even see that to start with until I got to look and I was like, so yeah, that's going to go in there like that. Yeah, let me get some CA glue in this um, just to kind of hold that there. It keeps wanting to pop back. Maybe one day I'll get good and I can solder these pieces like it really should be done, but I don't have those skills yet. I'm not going to try to make that work and then have a big mess of solder on there. So let me glue this together, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, let me show you what we got completed so far. And yeah, let's see if we can get this into the camera here. This is the piece that we just folded over. 
and this back piece folded over which kind of created a nice little box there and here's our other end and that's where we're at so far so um after looking again a little bit of a change after looking um at piece 74 and 73 that i said goes on top here and i thought was a, a type of a railing because if you look on the instructions here it shows these two here and it looks like they set on top as it looks like it was going to be some type of a railing when actually what it is is just a detail that goes onto the side of this on both sides so yeah it wasn't um come here you it's just a piece of you can see the detail on there that's all that that is so let's get it's going to go on to that like so so let's get some ca here see if we can make this come together it's going to wipe just a little bit here Something like so. There we go. That's what that does. And we're going to give that a second to dry. And then we got P73, which is almost identical to this one that's going to go on to the reverse side of this. Okay guys, we'll be right back. Okay, now we got the other side. Let's get piece position here Trying to get it lined up right. I 
Yeah, I'm not even on camera. Sorry about that, guys. I get tied up in this intricate stuff, and I get tunnel vision, I guess. All right, we'll call that good. Okay, guys, we'll let that cure, and we'll see what's next. Be right back. Okay, next we got part number five, um, which I have right here. And that's going to get installed right across here. So let's do that really quick. Let me get some fresh CA here. I'm not sure why my camera has been going blurry on me. That's the first time it's ever done that. Maybe I need to clean the lens on it or something. I'm not sure. I'll try to get that remedied. Let's see here. It's going to go right in there. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Moving right on along. Now, let's see what we got here. So we got this little platform area to do now. That is part four, and that looks like it's got a few bends to it, so let's see what part four is here. All right, here's our part four, right in here. So let's get this cut out, let's get it bent, and all these burrs shaved off, and we'll see where we're at from there. All right, guys, we will be right back. Okay, got part four cut out and ready to go. This one is a very fragile one, so we're going to have to be careful as we're working with this guy. Okay, let's get these railings up there we go Where is my razor? Here it is. Okay, let's see if we can make this happen without any mishaps here. You know what? That's not going to work either. Well, shoot. There we go. 
All right, who's been number one? Put this over like so. And let's get this. No, that's not going to work like that. We're going to have to bend that one by hand. You know what, let me do this off camera because this might take me a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I think we're going to pause right here um, and pick it up in the next video only because I don't want these to be too long. And I'm thinking this one's probably close to about a half an hour or so. Uh, let me show you what we got. I went ahead and jumped ahead um, and went ahead and got... This platform here installed, that was the one we were folding. And the reason I ended up doing that off camera is, let me find something to point here. I lost my pointer. Um, use an airbrush needle, how about that? Um, is the this box underneath here, you can kind of make it out there. If you look, well, if it'll focus, it has these tiny little arms. Um, I mean, they're almost hair thin. And I can tell you, you only got one bend with those, sometimes not even one bend, and they feel like they're going to break off. And I didn't want to risk that, so I needed the concentration. I needed both hands and to make sure I got that correct the very first time. So it is all folded, put together. It is intact. We got our railings on. What's going on with my camera? I got to, another reason we got to stop is I got to try to remedy this camera. I'll maybe try cleaning the lens or something because it's going out of focus a lot more than it normally is. So anyways, this is where we're at today, guys. This is our what we got completed on the catapult. Uh, I think we're off to a really good start, and I'm super happy with it and i'm um, loving the detail so now when we come back on the next video we are going to start there's another platform here that we got to put in um, it's got some railing involved that we got to put onto that and then that's going to be going um right in this area here which is going to pick up from where this one leaves off and kind of takes it on on down and so hope maybe you know the next video we might be able to get everything completed we'll see how it goes but yeah that's where we got today i think we got a lot accomplished in the you know half hour or so that this video took to make it it took me a little bit longer than that i just kind of put pauses in between the stuff that i feel is kind of boring and that's not necessary to the film so there we have it, guys. I will see you on the next video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I, I um, appreciate the nice comments that you guys have been giving me on my videos. Um, I'm not used to working live like this. So I'm sorry if this one's kind of been bouncing around and I'm kind of unprofessional at, you know, doing it this way. But I, the more I do it, maybe the better I'll get at it. So I appreciate your patience with me. Guys, thank you so much. I will see you on the next video. Hopefully that will be up tomorrow or the next day or two. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.